All right, YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival Island. This is episode 23. Um, so in the last episode, I had mentioned that this episode would be the Elder Guardian fight. Um, but uh, I'm still not quite prepared for it. I mean, I have the gear without a doubt. But I do kind of want to get the sharpness 5 on the sword as well as we need some fish. We need some puffer fish to uh, make some underwater breathing potions so um the way i was thinking of doing this today is um i'm going to start out by looking for a zombie villager and what that's going to allow me to do is uh, if we cure that zombie villager which we have the resources to do we'll be able to um, unlock trades that are even cheaper um, with them or you know cheaper trades but we could also get trades, you know, like the cleric, for example. We can trade rotten flesh, but like he'll take so little to give back an emerald. So I figured that's one of the villagers I want to go for to start is a zombie villager, turn it into a cleric. And while doing this, we actually have the ability to uh, get XP because we got to eliminate a bunch of zombies and, and creepers, skeletons, oh my, and... You know whatever else is down there so we're gonna run down right now and we're gonna go ahead and we'll start gathering xp and while we're doing that we're going to keep an eye out for some zombie villagers because that's cool and stuff so yeah let's let's do this thing um i figure we could do this for a little bit and then towards the end of the stream we'll do some fishing um as you know that's kind of cool and all or uh, puffer fish because we need to be able to breathe underwater. We do have respiration, but that's not going to last us very long in a underwater monument. Um, it's not bad by no means, but still, I would rather um, be as prepared as possible and, you know, actually breathe underwater as opposed to, like, just being able to hold my breath for a very long time. That went be that went better than I thought. I thought those things were definitely gonna hit my armor. Um, I already have a mending book, so like it's not a big deal. Like, I feel like we're not doing thirty level thirty enchants much anymore. Um, as we have, you know, all the gear we want, everything's gonna come from books at this point, probably for the most part. Um, I definitely could use protection four on my helmet. That's only at prop three. The prop three netherite is really not that bad. I mean, well, we're one point down on protection, which isn't, you know, ideal, but it's not bad. It's not going to hurt me that bad. Um, but if I see a villager, you know, a, uh, a librarian that... Does he have a flame bow? What the heck? guys be damaging my armor how cruel they, that dude had a flame bow I'm not sure I'm not really sure if I've ever seen that I've definitely seen skeletons like shoot through like a lava fall or you know lava just falling down in a cave and that would light me on fire but I've never seen them have an enchanted flame bow and arrow before that's kind of cool though it is kind of cool i mean it sucks if you don't have the right equipment but it's still pretty nifty do we have any zombie villagers down here that would be splendid if we did Oh, 
A lot going on right here. Where's all your zombie villager friends? I could always go the route of just breeding the villagers as well. I just would prefer to do, you know, what I'm doing because, again, if you cure a zombie villager, the trades overall just become cheaper, which I guess for Sharpness 5, that would have been smart. Um, actually, in a moment here, what we'll do is we'll go back up because we should be trading for emeralds pretty much as frequently as we can anyway. I should have started out the episode that way. Um... I wasn't thinking. It's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll go do it right now after we eliminate this here skeleton. Okay. So let's go make some books and we can do like trading and stuff. So. Oh wow. Okay. You're all geared out, huh? Not geared out enough though. Wow. That's actually a really good chainmail chest plate. What the heck? That's got some geared out enchantments on it. Yes, yeah, so let's go get some books. So, for those of you that don't know, um, one of my villagers have Sharpness 5. Uh, being They're selling it, but it is pretty expensive. It costs 57 emeralds. But I think this way is going to be a lot easier than going and enchanting until we get a sword that has Sharpness 5. And Obviously, my sword's netherite anyway, so you'd have to combine it with another netherite sword. Or you could do the book route and do a bunch of sharpness one and combine those. That's also like a lot of levels to get. So I'm thinking that the best way for me to do this is actually to just uh, sell books for emeralds. Um, I would do the paper route, but it's 24 paper to three books. So three books is like 12 paper. And just a couple pieces of leather. So at the end of the day, in my opinion, I think it's a lot cheaper to do it the way we are doing it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, let me uh, just empty the inventory a little bit really quick. Alright, and I think I have one piece of leather in here. So we're going to want to get a little bit more. And yes, I'm saving all the rotten flesh because I'm kind of relying on getting a cleric. That is selling lots and lots of um, emeralds for rotten flesh. I'm not sure if they have any other trades that are like similar to that. Like they might be sell, they might buy bones for emeralds. I'm not sure. I am not confident on that. Oh yeah, this is huge. Look at all this paper. And now we just gotta get a bunch of leather. And unfortunately, um, I, I can't use my axe because I have looting three on the sword. Well, I guess that's fine because as long as I do crits, it won't actually do the sweeping edge attack, which is good. That's what we want. We don't want to do that because we don't want to kill too many of our cows. Because that's a good way to do it, I tell you. Good way to do it. Sweeping edge is major. You ought to see some of those uh, XP farms people make using the underwater monuments. They're massive, but they work so well. All right, we got some extra food as well, which is good. So we'll get that cooking. We should always have food cooking because can't ever have enough of it. As you can see, I always have food cooking. Uh, 32. Okay. Now we'll, we definitely don't need to carry this much steak. I think we have some in here as well. Yeah, food's looking really good, and we got the chicken coop going. It's funny how I started the series with, like, no food. Obviously, it's Survival Island, so that's how it's going to go. But it's just interesting. Very interesting. Now we're just prospering. 
Uh, we have 29 books. If only I had one more. What am I doing? I can just... I don't need these knockback books. I don't need any of these books. We can actually get books that way as well. Let's do that really quick. Unless piercing works on a normal bow, you don't need it. That is not a grindstone. This is a grindstone. Alright, we're at 33 books, which gives us, what, 11 emeralds, I think? So yeah, that's the idea of this episode, um, as I'm like 10 minutes in. Uh, we're going to just try to get Sharpness 5, we'll combine it with our Mending book, and then apply it to my sword. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. And that would be really awesome if we can do that. So where is our, where's our mans that buys the books? You are here, okay. 11 emeralds, just like that. You see just like how much better that is than paper? Like if I did paper, I wouldn't have gotten that much. I would have gotten like four or five emeralds if I was lucky. But doing the book trade, all you gotta do is add a little bit of leather to it, and you get, like, so much more emeralds. And, you know, leather's not hard to get, either. It's, like, it's actually really easy to get. Which is, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, let's put our emeralds in with our emeralds. That gives us 27. We just need 30 more. Which is a lot, but we'll uh, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I can actually make a, another book really quick. All right, next up, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some more wheat trading and carrot trading. Um, because I should have plenty of bone meal. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll use up some bone meal. We can get emeralds this way. And then I'm hoping to get it in this episode, which I'm not sure, uh, because these episodes, when I'm recording these, I like to do them nice and short, not too long, not too crazy. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm hoping to be able to do it. And the wheat trade's cheaper, so we're just gonna do wheat. So we're just gonna sit here for a minute, and, uh... Keep planting some seeds, and we'll just keep doing this. And we get lots and lots of wheat this way. Now we're just going to trade with the farmer. And in between uh, this and... Um, well, after this, what we'll do is we'll go back to trying to find... A zombie villager to cure. That way we can get a cleric. And if we can do that in this episode as well. Um, we'll be able to do rotten flesh trades. Which is even more emeralds. Um, that might not happen in this episode. But we'll certainly try to make it happen. I would like to at the very least. I think that would be very cool. And we still have a little bit of more of the bone meal. I'm sure this is really entertaining to watch, but you get to watch grass grow, which is not something that uh, people can actually do every day. So, you know, this is like unique and I'm sure it's entertaining. Um... How did I break the dirt? Oopsies. I was going too hard at that, apparently.
I don't have a hoe, man. I gotta get a hoe to fix the grass there. There's a crafting table right over there so we can sort this out. This is quite the workout for your fingers, chat. You can get shredded fingers this way. I tell ya. Alright, let's get a hoe really quick. We gotta, um... Fix that. Alright, and then we'll just, like, harvest up some more of the wheat that's just grown here. These were all growing while we were doing the bone meal thing over there. Um, and none of the carrots really grew, so I'm not really worried about the carrots. Um, it would be cool, though, if they would, like, just buy seeds. I think that could be a cool thing. Oh, we could get a Fletcher, too, because I think Fletchers might buy feathers. Or arrows, which both are pretty cheap. I only need one arrow anyway, because I have infinity now. Um, yeah, I totally could do that. Go for a Fletcher. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for um, a Fletcher, and we'll go for... Um... Uh, this one, the cleric. I almost forgot what it was called. But a cleric and a fletcher would be really good. Doesn't someone buy bread, too? Now that I think about it, I feel like there's someone that, like, buys three bread for, like, an emerald or something. I'm not sure, though. It might be the other way around, an emerald for three bread. I feel like that makes more sense because it rips us off. Rips us off. Um, so that's probably what it is. All right, buddy, I got lots of wheat for you if you would like to give me some emeralds. Thanks, man. I got nine emeralds from you. That was very kind. Are you, uh, are you... No, you're not going to level up because you're lame. That's why. Um, also, you just made your trade a little bit cheaper. I shouldn't have traded all my wheat yet. I could have gotten one more emerald probably. But hey, nine emeralds. We're well on our way, man. We only needed, what, 30? Now we need 21. We're more than halfway. So we need, uh... Because we need 57 in total. We are well on our way to, um... Emeralds for days, dude. All of the emeralds. That's... That. Dirt does not belong in there. Okay, we got 36 emeralds. So yeah, literally 21 more and we'll have what we need. Alright, so for the time being, let's... I can carry leather around, that's fine. Let's go and find us a zombie villager because that would be pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, I think I'm still going to go the Rotten Flesh route first, and then we'll worry about getting a Fletcher after the fact. I do need a Brewing Stand. Um, I can just use the one I have, I guess. Should I set up, like, a trap? Like, have it pre-made, probably. As long as the Iron Golem... Will the Iron Golem attack it, actually? He might. He might attack it. So what I should do is maybe set it up in here. Is the iron golem was going to be like too tall to get in? Yeah, so we'll do this. And what I'll do is I'll make an easy way out for myself. And we're just going to make sure the iron golem can't reach him, you know? So we're just going to thicken every side of this. Perfect. Okay. Alright, let's head on down. Um, we might not even find one, but 
This is, again, it's a good way not only to get levels, to get more rotten flesh to trade for emeralds, and to get a nice, cheap, affordable trade. Reasonable trade, I should say. And, uh, yeah, the, the cheaper the better. I mean, the more emeralds you get, man. You can get lots and lots of emeralds and get emeralds for days doing it this way. And it's just, it doesn't get better than that. And I see our our zombie that we're gonna get. I can't lose out on this opportunity. No. I gotta protect this villager. Even though it's a zombie, we gotta protect him. Yep, I need you to follow, buddy. Alright, Creeper, I'm gonna need you to get out the way. Can't have this. Oh man, I hit the... Yep, come with me. Nope, can't have all of you around. I will not have it. Alright, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. It's all you, man. It's all you. Come on up. Alright, this, uh, this is looking pretty good. I gotta be careful the Iron Golem. You gotta get right into my little temporary home I've made for you. Um, because if you don't, things are gonna get... Don't hurt yourself. I have thorns. Um, this is gonna get really bad if you, uh, let this Iron Golem see you. Just keep on following, buddy. We're, we're almost there. That's a problem, man. They're they're literally right there. Nope. You were bad. Okay, I died. <laughs> Shit, man. Are you kidding me with the iron golem, bro? Oh, that iron golem's dying for that, man. I'm telling you right now. Will the uh, villagers get mad for... For that, I wonder? Right, I gotta get my stuff back, though. Wow, even with full netherite, that iron golem did a lot of damage. That's what you get, man. You just, uh, ruined everything. My sword. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. I hope I didn't ruin my trades. I think we're okay. You did go up one, so now it's 58 emeralds for sharpness five. Okay, well. 
That blows, man. Your damn iron golem. Alright, let's at least... We'll try to find another one. That's really unfortunate, though. He really aggroed from so far away, too. Oh, no way we get another villager, though. It's, not, it's just not gonna happen. It is like a 5% chance, though, so it's not that bad. It's like one in every 20 uh, zombies. All of those spiders are invisible. There's four of them. We have four invisible spiders here. Invisible zombies, bro. Um, you're a skeleton. Can't believe this has happened to me. Right, we do have a zombie over there. There's a lot of spiders here. A lot of spideys here today. Let's get this zombie. It despawned. It straight up despawned in front of me. There's like no zombies down here. Yeah, that was unfortunate, man. I got so lucky with finding that villager. Oh, that's an axolotl. I was confused. I didn't know what was going on there. That was weird. Okay, Mr. Zombie. Oh my gosh. There's silverfish down here? Those are monster egg blocks. Give me zombie villager, please. I need it. I want it. It's like a must. It's the best way for me to get emeralds right now, you know? I don't think it's going to happen in this episode. Which is fine. I mean, I can still get emeralds. We'll probably do another book uh, emerald trade here momentarily. Um, I am getting quite a bit of bones, too. I could get a little bit more wheat. But as you could see earlier, that wasn't the most efficient, like, emerald trade. Only because, like, 
it is a lot of wheat. I mean, three books compared to 13 wheat is a big difference. Books are just the best trade I have easily. Best emerald trade. Now, if I could get this zombie villager to be a cleric and want rotten flesh, that would be incredible. Like, actually incredible. Let's see. Okay, let's see. More and more levels, though. We do have to build up a lot of levels again. Wow, look at all these spideys. What the heck? Damn it, you bat. I was going to hit skeleton. Sword really is taking a beating, though. Dude, I'm actually so upset that happened earlier. With the with the zombie villager. I called it too. I guess that's the best part is like, I knew it was going to happen. It just, uh, I, I thought maybe I'd get lucky. When did that hole get there? What the heck? Where did that hole come from? Maybe a creeper put it there? It looks like I was up there though, at some point. I think emeralds probably. Probably got emeralds there and it was just like a thinner thing for a uh, uh, creeper to blow up and make a hole. That led all the way down there. Luckily I have uh, feather falling. Although like without feather falling, that would have been really bad. Like, I should have attempted to do a water bucket clutch just to do it. Look, I do not want to fight any of you. I just want a zombie villager. So if you would be ever so kind... And uh, get me one of those. That would be great. Yeah. Um, I'm actually, I'm really surprised. I mean, I knew the Iron Golem does a lot of damage, but I'm really blown away at the idea of how it killed me so quick. I really thought with this gear I would at least be able to solo an iron golem, you know? Is there just no um, zombies here? There's one. There's a bunch of zombies right there. Uh, 
Oh, that's a skeleton? What the heck? I thought it was an iron golem at first. I was really confused. It's like, why is one out here? Who wants vengeance for what I did? Wow. Wow, those are crazy boots. Those boots are absolutely insane, dude. Keep in mind, how many arrows can you shoot? Okay, come on. At a time, I mean. There we go. Okay, we got what we want. And what we got, what we wanted just died because there is so much going on here. Right, I gotta have the pack of zombies though, right? Does that increase my chances? Dang it, creepers. So many skeletons. Damn it, I can't believe I lost another villager. Creeper had to be within that group. That's unfortunate. You guys want to give me a zombie villager? There's a lot of you zombies here, but zombie villager would be a very incredible thing to give me. You know, if you want to make that happen, that would be pretty awesome. Pretty dang cool, you know? I think you should do it. I think I think that's something everybody would like. It would help me a lot. I know you did give me one, but you gave it to me next to a very explosive creature. And, uh... Yeah, he didn't make it, you know? Alright, well, I think my chances were probably ruined. Um, getting a lot of stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll run back up and we'll see what emeralds we can get. And we might need to do another episode of uh, getting emeralds because the zombie villager didn't wind up happening. Worst comes the worst, I'll just do the trading thing and, or the, uh, the, the baby villager and then, you know, go from there. But, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. We got two series of unfortunate events that happened and, uh, it's quite disappointing. So we had, look at all this rotten flesh we got. Like... That would have did it if we got a cleric. Damn creeper had to be there. Same with the iron golem. Like, I wish it didn't just attack on sight. Instead, maybe attacked when something else was in danger. Which I guess I was in danger. But maybe if it got a hit on me, then that would be a different story. But... 
Like, come on, you know? He definitely should have been able to lure it into that room. If only the zombie had moved a little bit quicker. It's interesting because usually they are pretty fast. Not like absurdly fast, but a little bit. Kind of fast. Alright, let's see what paper we can get really quick. And then we can... Hopefully trade some of that. We could also get a butcher. That could be good too. Jeez, don't they like buy raw chicken or something? I don't know if they'll buy raw beef. Alright, I think we got it all. So that's actually quite a bit of paper. Obviously we could have more, but... it's another eight emeralds right there. I'll take it. Eight emeralds is not bad by no means. And there's two iron golems again. Yeah. Uh, doing the zombie villager thing up there is going to be very difficult. Very difficult, like extremely, extremely unbearably difficult. Thanks for the eight more emeralds. I appreciate it. Should really get your iron golems under control, though. They ruined a really good thing today. Um, and that creeper down there, but, you know, you don't have control over that. I'm well aware of that. I am well aware. Okay, how many do we have now, though? 44. We need 13 more emeralds. We're actually really close. How many bones do I have? I might be able to get it in this episode. Let's see. All right, we'll take all of the bones. We'll do bone meal. We're going to do the, uh, the wheat thing again, and we might be like three short actually but we're still going to try to do it make it happen this will give time for the uh the sugar cane to grow a little bit and hopefully hopefully we can make more paper whoa nice bow though not nice enough but should just Disenchanted instead of uh, doing what I just did there. How many times I don't need to do that? Give me all of the wheat. We need it all. We need all of the wheat. Oops. We're getting there, we're getting there. Pretty swell, pretty swell. How, how do I keep doing that? 
How do I keep doing that? This is incredible. We just used up all of our bones, but you know what? Maybe, maybe the key all along was the skeletons. That's why they were giving us so many. They knew that we wanted to get emeralds, and they knew they could help us grow lots of wheat. So, yeah, at least they're going to a good cause, and it might not be intentional. That's what I'm using them for, as fertilizer, and, you know, they kind of owe me. They do. They made that very difficult earlier to get a zombie villager, so it's only right that they do this. And then, one tried to shoot me as I was walking out my front door, so that's pretty messed up, so I'm glad that I, uh... Came in and, and uh, turned them into fertilizer, you know? They don't need to be around. Let's put seeds in here. We have wheat. We have some carrots. A very, very, very small amounts of them, but... Why can't I do that anymore? I don't understand. I used to be able to do it without any problem. Alright, Mr. Farmer, you better have all of the emeralds because we need it. Oh, we got ten. We just need three more, man. Three more emeralds and we'll have sharpness five. You could do one melon for... An emerald. That's interesting. You know, I think I think we need to do something. I think I have something that we can do about that. This episode's going to be slightly longer than the average. But that's fine. That's fine. It's important that we get sharpness five tonight. Because Tomorrow, tomorrow's episode um, on the 24th is going to be an important episode. Um, and that's because if I can get Sharpness 5 right now, what we're going to do is we're going to face our first boss being the Elder Guardian, um, which isn't far from here. I forget exactly where it was, but I know it's not far. But yeah, that'll be the first boss that we face. I really should get a Silk Touch item for this. It's fine. I only need like two emeralds. Well, maybe Fortune will work on it. We'll try it. I'm not so sure if Fortune works on it or not. Bamboo actually does make it a little bit of a pain to travel through here. Because it's all so close together. Alright, where did I see the melons before? I know I've seen them. There's like a bunch of them. There's a whole like patch of them out here. But a single emerald for, or a single melon for an emerald. Seems like a very nice trade, and I kind of want to go for it. Is it up here? I don't remember where it was. I think it's... Here's one. Oh, here's a couple. Did Fortune do any favors there? It doesn't look like it, but that's fine. We'll be fine. 
And it's it like this, or it says three by three, okay. Well, I have enough for two um, melons, which should be enough. Should, it might not be, but it should be. Oh, here we go, we got some more. Collect all of the melons. This trade would have been really nice a while ago. I need to grow melons now. And I need to get Silk Touch, so I can just pick them up as a whole melon instead of breaking them into 100 pieces. Okay, let's head back up, and I think we've finally done it. We finally get Sharpness 5. Not the way I had intended on doing it, but it's um, it works. It's finally going to happen. We just got to spend our life savings of uh, 57, uh, oh, I think it's 58 emeralds now, actually. That's totally cool. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's make some melons. I think it's like this. Yes, sir. We'll go straight down there right now because we're so close. We are so close. Oh, the farmer. Wake up. Ah, oh, you leveled up quick. Okay, let me sleep. Can't sleep. I want to see what your new trades are, man. Here. Well, they're lame trades. All right, but I think we have enough to do it. Let's go do it. We currently have 17, and we needed what? 13, so we should be well over what we need. I should have grabbed the emeralds while I was up there. That's fine. We'll reset our spawn to our top base here, and then we'll work from that. We have 61 emeralds. That is plenty. That worked. Okay. This time I didn't spam click it. I wonder if that has any sort of result. We've done it. We've done it. Let's go make the sword. We have sharpness 5. We're going to add mending and sharpness together using the anvil. And then we're going to add it to the sword. We have made it. We've done it. The only thing that can get in my way is not enough levels, but I'm hoping we have enough. We definitely should. There's our mending and uh, anvil it. So sharpness five mending. How about the other way around? Yeah, so do this. And now we have mending sharpness five. We'll add it for eight levels. And now our sword is sharpness 5, knock back 2, looting 3, unbreaking 3, and mending. It doesn't have fire aspect, which is a little lame, but it's, you know what? It's good. It's a good sword. Now nothing, nothing can stop me. Not even that iron golem earlier, I would have killed it with this sword. But yeah, it does um, 11 attack damage, and then we can still crit and stuff, so... Yeah, that's pretty awesome, but I got to wrap up this episode. It's been going on for a little bit too long, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, show some love. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you uh, don't already, and be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and don't forget to um, comment down below letting me know how you're enjoying this series, and check the links in the description. You can catch some of these being recorded live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash destinm, 
Also, link in the description for that. Follow me there. I stream almost every night, so don't miss it. And I'll see you guys uh, in the Elder Guardian fight. Goodbye.